Plants contain defense chemicals, which are concentrated in their leaves, stems, roots, and seeds, the things we think of as vegetables. This is in contrast to fruit, which is sweet and colorful. Plants don't want the leaves, stems, roots, and seeds, the vegetable parts, to be eaten. When you eat these parts of plants, these defense chemicals can trigger gut inflammation, digestive issues, even autoimmune disease. The internet is rife with a ton of misinformation on nutrition and diets, right? That's why there's so many diets out there that are like, I am the ultimate diet, carnivore, right? No hate to Paul Saladino, he puts great stuff out there, but you know, carnivore exclusivity with nutrition, it's just, it's an issue, right? And then we have the plant-based cult, only eat plants and cut out all animal products? What about the guys that are only eat fats and proteins and keto? There's applications to all these diets, and I'm not a fan of a so-called diet, right? I'm a really big fan of intuitive eating and tapping into your mindfulness and eating a vast array of anti-inflammatory, nature-made foods, wholesome, organic, ancestral foods from nature, right? And so that is my diet, and that's what I'm gonna be going through in this video is what I eat in a day. Now, just because this works well for me does not mean it's gonna work well for you, but I just wanna give you a quick synopsis of what I consume and maybe it will inspire you and give you an idea of how to go about your diet and support you in many ways. So, let's dive into that. Hello friends, my name is Christian Van Camp, a holistic lifestyle and performance coach, biohacking hippie and nature enthusiast. I'm out here today recording this beautiful YouTube video on all things that I eat in a day. I've studied the vast array of nutrition for over eight years and I'm a huge fan of nutrition, holistic nutrition specifically, out of all the different facets of health. I think nutrition is one of the most paramount things we can take a hold of and grasp of to give us that fruitfulness in life. No pun intended. So let's dive into a day of eating for my life. When I wake up in the morning, the first thing I do is go downstairs after tongue scraping, because getting all that junk off the tongue, and I hydrate with some clean filtered water. And I get around 25 ounces, perhaps a half liter of water to a liter. Um, and I sip on that and drink that for about the first hour of the morning. And I add a ton of minerals back into that, whether it's from Redmond uh, electrolytes, I love that, that's a powerful way to go about it, or I'll just add the Redmond real salt into it, which is a mineral rich salt. So it's super important for my body and I recommend everyone tap into this by getting these uh, full spectrum salt into their diet because this will help you truly absorb and assimilate your water and not just go in from one part of your one hole and out the other. It's really important to get salt in your diet. So I get a ton of salt into my morning elixir and I add some apple cider vinegar into that. I add uh, some fresh squeezed organic lemon and uh, that's usually the way I go. I start my day with a ton of hydration. Hour and a half, two hours after waking, I'll say, I uh, begin to prep my amazing French press organic coffee with Purity Coffee. It's lab tested, it's super clean, it's antioxidant rich, it doesn't have mold or pesticides on it like a lot of the coffees out there. So I make some delicious coffee. Uh, I drink around eight to 12 ounces of coffee and I'll break my fast by adding some clean protein powder to it, whether it's Equip protein or it's some whey isolate from the company uh, Muscle Feast. So I add some like 20 to 40 grams of protein into this coffee. I pimp it out with some collagen, with some stevia drops, but I will add some cacao, I'll add some maca, and it just is absolutely delicious. And so I break my fast and drink that coffee until about noon and that's when I have my real first meal. Now my first meal of the day when I truly, truly break my fast with a, a hearty meal, I'll have uh, usually five to six eggs, some pasture-raised organic eggs. Uh, I'll put some greens with that of any sort, whether it's some broccoli or some mixed greens, I'll steam that on top. And I'm really big on uh, breaking down some of those oxalates. Like in the beginning with Paul Saladino talking about oxalates and spinach, it's not a big deal if you're eating it once or twice a week, but if you're having it every day, it is an issue. So personally, I like to steam it and break those down with the eggs. And I'll usually add some good oil with it, like two to three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, perhaps some butter, or maybe some coconut oil, mixing and matching those fats. And that's what I'll have for my first meal. Uh, sometimes I'll even add a siete cassava flour wrap to it, so it's a nice big egg burrito. Uh, even at times I'll sp <laughs> sprinkle on some, uh, a little bit of maple syrup or honey. Uh, but if I'm not training that day, I typically just go for that high fat, high protein approach so I don't have a blood sugar spike and I can maintain a little bit of ketosis during the day. That way I can have higher energy for the day and my metabolism's a little bit higher without that glucose and glycemic variability. Uh, so that keeps my brain sharp and I feel really good doing that. Sometimes I'll even just break my fast with a bowl of fruit, such as wild blueberries or blueberries, um, maybe a banana 
or uh, an apple, an orange, anything along those lines. I really love fruit, so, or I'll have it as a snack later on after that first meal with the eggs. So that's how I like to go about my first half of the day. And then for my second meal of the day, I'll do something similar to that. I'll have some sardines, uh, Wild Planet sardines. Uh, I'll do two cans of that, I'll make a wrap with it, or I'll make a big salad with it with some more olive oil, um, some hemp seeds, some chia seeds, things like that. And also midday, I'll typically have about a half ounce of liver. I freeze it in my freezer so it's more palatable. So I'll go about my day having a little bit of that uh, multivitamin approach with some beef liver. And then by the end of the day, I'll sauce in some starches. This is where I load up on starches. So it could be sweet potatoes, pressure cooked quinoa, some white rice. Those are some of my favorite foundations right there. Um, I'll even add some squash at times, some really good summer squash or something along those lines. Um, and then I'll have you know some more heavier animal-based proteins such as grass-fed beef or perhaps some more sardines, some wild salmon, uh, or even at times I'll have pasture-raised chicken. So I'm a big fan of beef though, that's a big staple in my diet, I'll have that three to four days a week. And it'll usually be eight ounces or so of beef, perhaps even 10 ounces. Uh, and then I'll throw in some more fats, around two to three tablespoons of all those mixed fats I mentioned before. And then I'll have the starches like I mentioned, the sweet potatoes, the quinoa, and et cetera, because that raises serotonin and helps you sleep deeper at night. So I feel so good ending my day with a bunch of starches and that heavy protein. And then if it's nighttime and I have a little bit of midnight munchies, I'll throw in a little bit of coconut cream or coconut milk with some little bit more protein or something along those lines like collagen. Uh, perhaps a little bit of cacao or dark chocolate, uh, mix in some blueberries in that, um, add a little bit of chlorella or spirulina, that blue-green algae, and just keep it nutrient-dense, satiating, even some raw honey sprinkled on top. I'm a crazy guy, I'm very spontaneous with my eating, but I keep it very structured around the timing of it. So that first meal is around, around noon, 12 o'clock, then I'll have my next meal around 3 to 4 o'clock, and then I'll have my last meal around 7 to 8 p.m. And then I go to bed around 10, 10.30, 11. So that's my routine. That's what I eat in a day, guys. I know it's pretty spontaneous. I bounced around a lot, but I hope this gives you some ideas of what I consume to keep me healthy and well, and I hope it inspires you in many ways. If you got some benefit out of this, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you don't miss future beats on incredible videos coming out on all things fat loss, metabolism, health, longevity, nature, and so much more. I'll see you guys on the other side.